as you can see by the rocks, the water level is super low. We have not had rain in a couple weeks now. Now, right over here, there is a farm that shows up on the 1904 topographical map. So you never know what's gonna be in here, but uh, the weather's right, the water's calm. Let's grab the metal detector, let's get in there. I was just walking down the creek and uh, see this, don't even have to use the detector. All right, so I finally got what I was looking for down in this hole. It took me a little bit, but popped it out. I think it's gonna be just a quarter, but let's go under. Yeah, just a modern quarter. Right, so I have really good 89, 88. There's the coil back. Pretty tight. Right in there. So it did just drop off a little bit. Let's see if we can find it. And for the pinpointer, I'm using the pulse dive with the pinpointer attachment here. So, let's see if we can find it. <laughs> I almost thought it was the back to a cell phone, but it's got a little hook there. It looks like it's missing the other piece, so I don't know. It doesn't look terribly old. Check it out. I got good set up the water. 76, 78. It's pretty shallow. It's pretty tight. rake attached to. That one's all messed up, so looks like I just got a replacement. Right on. the end of the summer but uh, he invited me out to this spot where if you catch in one of his earlier videos found some pretty uh, exciting stuff what, what was it uh, the 121 uh, Kenny half dollars it's crazy crazy you can go check that one out yeah let's see what we can find here all right so I just got a pretty good solid 82 83 86 let's see what it is
that uh, the threading inside. It sounded so good, it was actually underneath the rock. Huh. First creek find. Andy has a good target, sounding wise, so let's just go under and see. <laughs> All right, so I was just coming up along this, uh, this side here, this bank, and uh, it's going through the rocks. And uh, put out a little, it be like a watch gear, or some kind of Okay, so uh, I don't know if you can hear me over the water in the background, but I was just, uh, I had a really good signal. It was a little deep, so I took the little garden tool and was scraping around and uh, pulled it up and it was stuck to the garden tool. It was an old light bulb. All right, so Andy just called me down. Yeah, got a nice buckle here, 75-ish on the Equinox 900 we're using today. So it's pretty cool, about six inches. Nice. So Very cool. Still stuff out here. Yeah. I keep looking hard for it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> So I was going up to this really deep signal. I couldn't figure it out. I still haven't get it, but all of a sudden out of the hole popped up this bottle. There's no... Uh, it's a good shape too. Yeah, there's no writing on it. It does have a name on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah. That's pretty cool. We got Andy on another target, but as I was getting some B-roll, he found a, uh, a piece of a spoon. Down here it is. This isn't too far from where the buckle was found. Oh, yeah, we always gotta clean up the trash. Here it is. Oh, there we go. Oh nice. Oh yeah. I don't know why why is it that color? It's, would that be pewter? I was gonna say a pewter, but I wasn't hundred percent sure. Nice. So, yeah, Very it was cool. 70s. So we were up on the other side of this bridge and there is an old barn over there. Andy, Andy worked his way along the, the edge, said he found something pretty cool. Yeah, it's really cool. I didn't want to throw it in my bag because it's kind of fragile. I hope I didn't mess it up by doing so. This was with it kind of near. Check this out. Oh. I don't know what it is. It's got like two guys on it. Emmis looks like Egyptian stuff. Oh yeah. And there's an eagle at the bottom. Oh that's that's a cool it's, find. It's probably hard to see with the camera, but it's got a lot of detail. Oh there we go. Yeah, you can see the eagle. Oh yeah, and the Egyptian guys. Oh, yeah, and I don't know what's on the back. So yeah, there you go. It's even more Egyptian. But it's got a lot of stuff. It's got a lot of stuff on it. Yeah. That's cool. I don't know what it was. I don't know if anybody will know that. Uh, getting a little lunch lunch snack. <laughs> and uh, he's yeah. like, look what I found on the surface. Yeah, I didn't, yeah. So like we can kind of see what's sitting down there. A little marble. Usually this is all, all underwater. Well, it still is, but over that way you'll see it's, it's like, uh, it's all laying down. So yeah. Pretty cool. 
somebody lost their marbles. So underneath bridges, uh, you can find a lot of interesting stuff. You know, people throwing uh, things over the edge or, uh, you know, just hanging out, swimming holes, a lot of times under the bridge. But it's not always in the water that you can find interesting stuff. Sometimes on the shore, you can find interesting stuff. I'll have what she's having. 